it makes sense to biologically classify people. It also makes sense to socially classify people. I don't understand. She said we should classify people biologically and then we should classify them socially. Which one is it? Those are opposites. Those are two opposing opinions. This is the hill that you want to die on? This is the one. That trans women aren't women. They're trans women. This is the hill. Okay, okay. Who cares? When you change the word woman and a lesbian is a woman that is attracted to women, how is that not directly affecting us? Can we can be done? Like, this is just too much. Like, if I'm attracted to women and you call yourself a woman, then that means that, that I'm, that, that you know I don't even, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Hi everyone, it's Samantha Lux. Welcome back to my channel. I got the purple going on today. Purple on my eyes, purple on the walls. Purple everywhere. Y'all remember Ariel Scarcella? Ariel Scary Sella? Scary Ariel Sella? I don't know. I made this video on her a while back because she was calling non binary people sexist. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't get it either. Recently, she's been very known for having these very anti trans stances. I feel like that's what her content has pretty much become is just her being like an anti trans person. She's kind of become like the token lesbian. The other day, I was watching a Jubilee video, as one does, duh. And I was jump scared. I was scared. I was startled because I saw little Miss Ariel Scary Sella on the panel and I was not expecting it. I was just sitting there watching the fucking video and all of a sudden, boom, there she was. As I was watching this Jubilee video, it was on feminism. It was like feminism versus anti-feminism. I was like, is this girl for real? Is this bitch? Probably 75 to 90% of her responses were about how trans people were erasing what it means to be a woman and how we're destroying her sexual orientation and all this crazy, ridiculous stuff. So I thought it'd be a fun video to just kind of laugh at her. <laughs> I mean, not her, because we don't laugh at people. We laugh at their cringy opinions, of course. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. This is not gonna be like my typical Jubilee React videos. This is gonna be more so focused on Ariel because she's just so funny. Where's my coffee? I need a little coffee break, hold on. Can we talk about how cute my little coffee cup is? It's Zuko and Iroh, Uncle Iroh. Okay, anyways. I post new videos twice a week here on my channel, so if you guys are not yet subscribed and you would like to be, go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait for you, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead with my little ponytail. All right, you done, thank you very much. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all those different places to keep as up to date with me as possible. I post all the time on TikTok. I love me a good TikTok. So make sure to follow me over there. And yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into Miss Ariel Scary Sella. Okay, so the video that we are going to be watching clips from today is the Does Feminism Include Trans Women? Female Feminists versus Anti-Feminists. So yeah, this is gonna be great. <laughs> I, we're not gonna watch all the responses because nobody has time for that, but the first prompt was, if you're a woman, you should be a feminist. The pro-feminism side was like, yeah, you should be a feminist. You know, it's about getting equal opportunity, equal rights for the different sexes. Um, it's great, love it. And then Miss Ariel Scarcella comes up. Define woman, go, please, it's one of you. A person who their internal no. idea of what they are is a woman. Terrible definition. Oh my God, This she came out, she was ready to go. First of all, what does this have to do with the prompt? If you're a woman, you should be a feminist. Define woman, define it. Sir, this is, sir, sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. Ma'am, that is a question for the, I was gonna say the teleprompter, that's not what their name is. The question reader, that is for them, not the other side. She just had to start the trans conversation. She's like, I know about transies and that's it. When people ask, what is a woman? Define woman, blah, blah, blah. My thing is, is like, what answer are you looking for? There's really only one answer that you can give that will satisfy them, which is that women are people that are born female. Any other answer you give them, they're not gonna like. Coming from a lesbian, that destroys the very concept of our sexual orientation. Just saying that it's an but idea. Why? 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 Because you can't have, you can't be connected and sexually attracted to somebody's brain. You're destroying lesbians. You're, you're erasing us. This is a war on lesbians. All the lesbians are transitioning. Remember when they said that too? They're weird. You're destroying us. There's no more lesbians to date. They're all transies. Girl, please, you're fine. This is so weird though. She's like, no, you, you can't be a woman because I'm not attracted to you. Therefore, you're not a woman. Imagine. Seems a little bit problematic to me, Miss Ariel. Just because you're not attracted to somebody doesn't mean that they're not a woman. Like, I just don't get that. <laughs> but honestly, I'm not surprised that I don't understand it. It's Ariel. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's make sure to keep it to the prompt. If you're a woman, you should be a feminist. Why do y'all disagree oh, okay, with okay, that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on. 
Stay, stay on track. Stop about the transies. Leave them alone. Of course, we want equal rights. We want equality as women. Of course. But we how can you have equal. equal rights when you can't define the word woman on the far left? Girl, come on. Really? You want equal rights? You can't even spell equal rights. Define rights. Especially when you're having this legal discussion. Like, it really just does not matter what your definition of a woman is. There are people who are legally female. There are people who are legally male. And, like, that's the end of the story. We can have this ideological debate all day long. But at the end of the day, trans women are legally female. I mean, after they have their things changed. Duh. But I know that going by the law is not a great argument. But when we're talking about policies and things that are going to give women equal rights, I feel like it's kind of relevant in this situation. <laughs> Alta had a woman's day recently and the woman's day was celebrated by two trans women who no. still had their male parts. Oh. What does having a penis have to do with wearing makeup? You're pushing women out of womanhood. I'm sure we're gonna have whatever. Those little snippets came before they even brought up trans women. So now we're gonna jump into where they bring out the trans women prompt, the prompt that says, feminism that does not include trans women is not feminism. This is where the discussion really kind of heats up a bit. And Miss Ariel came out. Is she an ally? Is she changing her mind? Miss Ariel said, you know what? I'm done with this. I love me a transy. I wish, imagine. Imagine this was like her epiphany moment. You surprised to see me here? Yes, okay. I am surprised to see you there, yes. You know, it's really important to include trans women and trans people and gender non-conforming people, which by the way, I am gender queer myself. I don't actually identify as a woman. It's really important that those of us who do have privileges like speak up for trans women in the community, especially because they're the most at risk for hate crimes. Love that. Bravo, thank you, thank you. Mwah. We are having this conversation without trans women. Mm -hmm. Right, we are sitting here today having Do we that know conversation that? without For sure. I, I identify as she's trans. On a fem she's, she identi no, hold on. She my identifies as non-binary and she's on a, my, she's my on a feminist panel. My pronouns. So maybe she doesn't belong here either. They're they right. don't belong here. Oh my God. This person's like, I identify as non-binary. She goes, she, she, she doesn't belong here. Get her out. She, 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 she needs to leave. Everyone's like, it's, it's they. Their pronouns are they. They literally just said it. Like they're non-binary. Shut the up. <laughs> maybe she doesn't belong here either. Ariel, calm down. Relax. Take it down a notch. <laughs> what, they're a trans person and they're not allowed to be here? They have to go? Mm. Your transphobia is showing again, Aria. There's an issue with categorizing uh, womanhood as a means of female. Uh, earlier, it was mentioned by somebody on the other, on the anti-trans side about trans women coming in and taking over sports and things like that, which is just not true. That is true. It's not. It is. It's I can not. show you a number I of cases. I can show you there a number of There might be people that science. also haven't. No, I can Men show you a Sorry, number. Trans women retain 30% of their biological advantage. That is not If true. they went through male puberty, yes it is. That is Yes it is. That is not Let's not argue about This is not even the prompts. So I'm not going to argue about that. Personally, I have not seen the study that Ariel is referencing. That says that trans women retain 30% of their muscle mass after transitioning, if they transition after puberty. What I have seen though is a very, very small number of trans women actually winning in these competitions against cisgender women. I know there's this big misconception that trans women are winning all these competitions and winning all these sports and all this kind of stuff, but I really just don't think it's happening. The only people that I hear talking about this are transphobes. I don't see any scientists or, you know, sports professionals coming out and saying this. And if they are, I would love to see the studies. But all of that aside, like the aggression from Ariel right now, like, we're not even gonna argue about that. We're not talking about that. You're wrong. Blah, 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 blah. You're literally on a, on a debate piano. You are there to talk about it. If you are a trans woman and you walk out in the world and you are seen as a man, you do not belong in women's spaces. Okay, first of all, <laughs> complete topic change. Complete 180 to a different com. Whatever, that's fine. Well, let's talk about it. She says, if you go out into the world and you look like a man, you do not belong in women's spaces. This is just not a good way to determine who should go where. Like, there are cisgender women that may not look like the conventional standard of beauty for a cisgender woman. That doesn't mean that she shouldn't go into the woman's bathroom or like a woman's space, obviously. And we've seen this become a problem before. We've seen cisgender women getting confronted and harassed for being trans in the woman's bathroom and they're just a cisgender woman that maybe looks a little bit more masculine. Maybe just let people live their life. I'm sure they know better about what's going on with their body and their lives and their gender than you do, okay? Like, let's just relax. I don't care what anybody says. I think that's ridiculous and I think even trans women 
that have gender dysphoria that go through transition will agree with me. I do not agree with you, Miss Girl. I am a trans woman. I have gone through transition. I have gender dysphoria. You're wrong. She always does that though. She's like, I have a trans friend who would agree with me. It's the trans person that literally 99% of trans people are like, yeah, they're like really problematic. They're like really making our lives harder. The pick me girls of the trans community, if you will. This makes me so incredibly uncomfortable that we're even having this conversation. You could go back over them. there if you really wanted to. Oh! That face, she's like, are you serious? Like, are you okay? Are you good? Honestly, I'm not surprised at all that Ariel is like, you can go back over there. You can f right off if you want. If we took all of that off the table, right? If we're not talking about who can play sports with whom, do, do can people exist as who they are? Absolutely. It yeah. sounded like you were saying if a trans woman doesn't look like what you perceive as looking like a woman, mm -hmm. they shouldn't be in feminist spaces. I didn't say that. I said they shouldn't be in female spaces. Okay. Not feminist spaces. Okay. okay. I think women... I disagree no, with that, but That's okay. fine. It makes sense to biologically classify people. It also makes sense to socially classify people. I don't understand. She said, we should classify people biologically and then we should classify them socially. Which one is it? Those are opposites. Those are two opposing opinions. Let's say my friend Blair White was sitting right here. That's my buddy, love her. She's sitting right here. Do I think she lives her life as a man? No. Like we were talking about men making decisions for women in, as, as far as abortions are concerned. That's something she'll never experience. I don't understand what the f point was. There are women who biologically cannot produce. There are females, people assigned female at birth, who yes. biologically cannot produce. Are you saying that those female women should not be able to, to have say in those laws That's either? not what I'm saying at all. I guess my main issue with trans women being seen as women and not being seen as trans women is they're changing the definition of women and expecting everybody to go along with that. And they're that affects changing. me, that yes, they are. And that affects me directly. You say trans women are women, trans women are trans women. It's a very different experience. Trans women are women. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my whole entire life. Like it's just a waste of time. It's a waste of energy, a waste of breath. Like are these transphobes not tired? Are they not like bored with their lives? You're really arguing and crying and like all this stuff about the semantics of being a woman. You're arguing about a word. You're arguing about something that is made up, something that is ever changing and something that honestly traditionally does not mean what you think it means. This binary perception of gender identity where men are men, women are women, there's nothing in between, there's nothing else, blah, 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 is a very modern contemporary idea. This was not the norm throughout all of history. In fact, throughout all of history, we've seen multiple, multiple gender identities recognized in different cultures. So to say that the trans community is now just coming in and destroying what has been set in stone for millions of years, like it's just inaccurate. It's factually incorrect correct <laughs> but also like why do you even care that much this is the hill that you want to die on this is the one that trans women aren't women they're trans women this is the hill okay okay who cares if you ask feminists at a women's march what a woman is they can't even define it how can you protect something and empower something that you don't even know the actual definition of i just like is this are you not embarrassed i personally would be so embarrassed well, I will say J.K. Rowling calls herself a feminist and was canceled for not being pro-trans, which is kind of overtaking, reversing some of the work feminists have done in the past. She's a billionaire. Well, they She's criticize her. She's fine. She'll be fine, little Miss Isabella, okay, with your little f***ing. Gotta be nice, gotta be nice. Feminist movement does not allow anyone to have any other opinions but what you guys but what think does is that correct. Because she's so allowed it, to have that opinion and she still makes a bunch of money. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Right, this whole notion that they don't allow us to have any opposing ideas, they don't allow us to express our opinions. Like, what does that mean? Like, what are you talking about? You're literally sitting on a panel with feminists who are having a conversation about your ideas and their ideas. They're literally allowing you to have your opinion just because they're challenging you and maybe saying, hey, this is what I believe, this is what's going to benefit more people. Doesn't mean that they're not allowing you to have your opinion. Like it's it's just silly. Also, <laughs> I may not agree with JK Rowling. I don't even like the <laughs> but that does not mean that the feminist work that I do does not keep her best interest in mind. It keeps the best interests of all women in mind. It doesn't matter if you have a different opinion than me. I think that that is what is so great about feminism is that it empowers women to have their own ideas, have their own opinions, to make the choices for themselves. What do trans women take away from women in the feminist movement? The definition of words and what that means and how that affects us directly. Okay, explain. How does, how does the definition of the word woman affect you, Miss Ariel? Can you expand on that? Yes, when you change the word woman, legally it has implications. Okay. Sexually it has implications. It, it, but it, the word it woman directly... has changed throughout 
histories throughout different cultures. I'm just really like trying to give her a second. I'm trying to really digest that and like <laughs> search my brain for the different ways that changing the definition of woman to include trans women. I'm really struggling to understand how that would have sexual or legal implications, at least negative ones. I feel like Ariel is like, well, if we admit that trans women are women, then I have to be attracted to them. No, you don't have to. It's okay. It's all right. I'll forgive you. I think that the trans community will forgive you if, you know, you're not attracted to us. We'll survive. The sexual implications part that she keeps bringing up, the fact that it's going to, you know, destroy what it means for her to be a lesbian is so weird. Like, it's so weird to me. Like, you can't just define your sexuality on your own. It has to be based off of other people and like what's going on with them, like wh how they identify, what words they use to reference themselves. To be honest, I don't even think Ariel really cares about this stuff. Like it's just the most ridiculous things to care about. Like the word woman, you really care if trans women are considered women or trans women. It's so dumb. She's really trying to be the token lesbian of the transphobe like community. Indigenous people have had different, uh, different genders, different, uh, different ways of looking at gender. The Torah specifically has eight different genders and we have recognized that for over 3000 years. You're denying anybody's culture that does not agree with your perception and your worldview because you hold so highly onto your identity and you see it as an attack on who so you are. So do you all of- On sexual orientation. So do feminists as a but whole. But it's nothing yes. to- Okay, but the difference is <laughs> we're defining ourselves. You're trying to define us. Miss Isabella. <laughs> oh my God, y'all should watch the rest of this video because Isabella's got some crazy thoughts up there. She's a character. When you change the word woman and a lesbian is a woman that is attracted to women, how is that not directly affecting us? Can we can be done? Like this is just too much. Like if I'm attracted to women and you call yourself a woman, then that means that, that I'm, that, that you know, I don't even, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like I, I, I wish I had like a witty response or something. This is just kind of crazy. Born biologic woman, why are you trying to write us out of history? You guys keep saying that there's a biological reality of male and female. Yeah. Scientists do not agree with you. Scientists that you choose to agree with. I mean, you can find a study and a scientist to back up that. anything you want to prove well, these days. Um, I, I choose to do uh, peer-reviewed studies and not ones that are backed by political agenda. And I'm sorry that my peer-reviewed studies tend to agree with the fact that trans women are women and that biology it does not exist in a binary never has and it never will i think that that is a wonderful place to stop wow bravo bra oh honestly i think that the feminist side did really really great in this panel this debate it really wasn't that tough of a competition miss ariel scary sella to all the lesbians out there i am so sorry for destroying what it means for you to be a lesbian and you know now you have to be straight and date a man and you know i don't know i don't, I don't <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. What did you think? Did you think it was funny? I thought it was so funny. <laughs> if you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and you would like to be. And yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.